Hi, um, can we change the screen? Do we have any of the organizers on um, online here? Hello. Ah. Brilliant. Thank you. Ms. Alhamid, are you all right? Can you hear us? Before we get started, I might also point out that um, Dr. Telly has actually arrived now and brilliant and been here for a couple of sessions now. Uh, she's dressed in the way she is, not because she's going to be robbing anybody. So Thank please you. don't don't be um, don't be afraid of that. Uh, my name is Rim Al Ahmed. I'm an epidemiologist. I'm working with Ministry of Health. And today's presentation is about system thinking. So, system thinking is a new um, way of thinking about the system and what exactly is a system. So, at first, the system is an interaction of parts and their interconnection that comes together for a purpose. Next, we're going to talk about what is a health system. It's the combination of resources, organization, financing, and management that culminate in the delivery of health services to the public, to the population. Or as defined by the WHO, it's all the activities whose primary purpose is to promote, restore, or to maintain the health. So now I would like to talk about system thinking and what is systems thinking. It's really a problem solving approach that, anal that do an analysis for a problem within its system, surrounding elements that interact with the problem or are affected by it, and together form a process that achieve the goal of the system. A system thinking concept is often used in management and operation science across the range of industries. From agriculture to telecommunication and healthcare, it is also known as system-based practice. So what is a system thinking? System thinking was mainly introduced to try and understand the complex nature of an organization. It tried to study how different elements whether it's outer element and inner element can affect and interact with each other, creating positive or sometimes a negative outcome. So really system thinking is applied to understand complexity. And sometimes we refer to healthcare as a complex system. And here where we can actually use system thinking. For example, if we want to go from element A to element B, we want to know and understand the interaction that element A has on element B. And system thinking will help us disangle those complex elements to have a clear understanding of the system. So why exactly do we use system thinking? We use system thinking to understand how an event will occur and how things are connected to each other. And we can examine the whole picture, various sets of elements. So moving on to system thinking characteristic. In system thinking, we use explicit models. We also identify assumption, we use data, and it can be repeated and replicated by other. Also in system thinking, we use the word sanistani, and this word means that we all stand together. The whole system is thus more than the sum of its part. It's also in the interaction between the bars. So if we can move to the next slide, we can see the domino effect, which perfectly represents the word sanistani. So 
It means any minor effect in the first domino will go to the next domino, making the whole system collapses. Sometimes those effects can be both negative or positive. One minor effect in the first made to the whole domino fall. What if we place the domino pieces in different measurement? What if the first domino piece was way far than the next one? Would it also collapse in the same way? So why system thinking is important for the healthcare? We usually say and talk about intervention and why a certain in intervention that work, for example, in Saudi cannot be applied to another country like USA or like the UK. An intervention that applied in one country might not be as effective in another due to various reasons. It could be demographical reason. The power of an intervention sometimes isn't matched by the power of health system to be delivered. And through system thinking, we identify the complexity of health system. It gives us a better understanding that lead us to design and evaluate interventions that are tailored to a specific community needs, which then maximize the benefit and then delivery of the intervention and ensure the health equity. If we can see the WHO health system framework, the building blocks alone do not constitute a system any more than a pile of brick. So it is the multiple relationship and interaction among the blocks that makes it a system. How one effect and influences the other and is in, in turn affected by them that convert these blocks into a system. As such, a health system may be understood through the arrangement and interaction of its part and how they enable the system to achieve the purpose for which it was designed. So what is the element of system thinking? We have four main elements of system thinking which are systems knowledge and systems network, system organizing, and the system dynamic. And to make it as simple, we have 10 main steps to do a system thinking. First, you have the intervention design. The intervention design include involving the stakeholder and do a brainstorm and conceptualize the effect Adapt and redesign. Next, we have to do to evaluate the design, determine all indicators and develop the methodology, select the design and develop the delivery plan and set a certain budget. Now I would like to um, say a quote by, uh, that was by the Minister of Health in Zambia. It says that, HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria have taken almost 90% of our time. Not to mention that they also have taken most of our budgetary. To the extent that we have actually neglected what we all call non-communicable diseases, which is like chronic diseases. And this is when we want to emphasize on the importance of system thinking. One of the system thinking tool is Vensum. Um, through Vensum, you can put like certain inputs and it can actually do a simple prediction. Uh, if you try to put how can quality will be minimized if you increase the volume of services. So Vensum is one of the tool to uh, imply system thinking. Uh, that was it. I have my email in the first slide if you want to talk about uh, anything that relates to system thing. And if you want the software, I can send a link to download the Vensum app. That was it. Uh, thank you so much for listening and sorry for taking your time.
Reem, that was extremely informative. Thank you so much. Um, system thinking really is defined, I feel, in the in the quality aspects. Surely, is that right? Quality management. Ah, we appear to have lost stream. Um, yes, it's uh, it's not just. About are there any questions management. for Reem here from the floor? Which is is Reem? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Sorry. Oh, great. Um, I did ask a question. Did the yes. um, system? system yeah. changes and system management that is part of the quality management aspect surely isn't it uh, it's not just about the quality but rather we say um it's about the system as a whole and how to optimize a certain element rather than the other like in in healthcare we always have we say a fight between like a treatment and prevention and where exactly to put the money allocation? Should we spend most of the money on preventing a disease or treatment of the disease? And always what wins is treatment of the disease because it's, I mean, it's more expensive. And so system thinking lets you study all the element and all the aspect of what exactly affect the other one. and how exactly it's affecting the whole system as a whole. Right, that, that, that's actually quite astounding. Um, in my view, and this is a very personal view, obviously, because I'm not a, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a, a medical professional, but, yeah. but um, I've always worked on the understanding that prevention is better yeah. than the cure. Exactly, um, yeah. So, that's opposite to what you've just said actually acts in practice do, you, do we have reasons yeah. for this and, and why system thinking is now in such a pronounced fashion being investigated uh, system thinking help you as i said to understand the system or the internal level that you work on for example if you want to improve a certain aspect or understand why, for example, this hospital is are providing a lower service quality than the other hospital. So you have many elements that you want to study and see what would happen if you increase um, the time to see a patient or Put a bonus yeah. system, for example, to the doc to the doctors. Right. So basically, it's it's making sure that the holes don't appear in the plan going forward. Exactly. Yeah. In a way. Okay. Okay. I say that's fantastic. It certainly opened my eyes to a few things. Are there any other questions from the floor here? Well, Reem, thank you so much for, as I said before, a very informative presentation. Um, it will be available online at a later stage on, on YouTube, I believe. Um, so if it is possible, you can make contact via that method and ask questions later or contact Reem directly, I would imagine. Um, all that's